I'd like to do a quick recording on how to do uh, looping animated bubbles. Um, a lot of people do some sort of water or ocean scene and and um, this is a th uh, thing that people like to throw in there sometimes. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to start up a new file and I'll make the background kind of blue, make it look like we're in the water here. Um, and I'm just going to do some basic bubbles. So I'll make a white line circle with no fill on the inside. Um, so I'm just going to draw a bubble on the stage. and You could do a more elaborate bubble. You could add a gradient to it or something. Um, but I'll just show you the main technique here and you can kind of enhance it. So I'm going to select the bubble. I'm going to right click and um, select it, right click, and you can see it now. I'm going to convert to a symbol. I'm just going to make it a graphic and I will call it bubble. Now it's over in my library. Um, and then I'm going to make an animated bubble. So why don't we convert this to a symbol as well. I right click before but you can also go to modify convert to symbol and so I'm going to take this symbol I've already created and make that a symbol so I'm kind of starting a nesting process here so I'm going to call this um, animated bubble I'll make that a graphic symbol as well so now if you look at the properties this is an animated bubble if I actually go into this so I'm inside of it now in the animated bubble and I select the bubble it's an instance of bubble so I've kind of created this nesting here so inside my animated bubbles where I'm going to do the animation for it um, so let's uh, different ways you can do this I'll right click in the keyframe there and create a motion tween and I'll just drag this out to frame 30 no particular reason. Um, and then I'm just going to animate this bubble going up. The first thing I want to do though, I'm actually going to have it kind of disappear as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm down here on frame 30. I'm going to select the bubble. I'm going to change the alpha and the color effect here. I'm going to change that to 0%. So the first thing I'm actually tweening is just the bubble gradually fading off. Actually I might have it just start to do that fade maybe at the very end. So actually let's go right here just click the bubble and I'm gonna make the alpha 100. So now between 1 and 26 that looks like um, the bubble will be fine and then it'll fade away. So then the next thing I want to do is just kind of create um, a path that the bubble's going to go on. So I'm going to go to around frame 10 this year and then kind of move it up this way. And then I'm going to go over to frame 20-ish and kind of move it that way. And then frame 30. It's disappeared, but I can still kind of grab it and move it up this way. So it's kind of going to go back and forth there. Now, if I have my selection tool, I can, um, you can't really see it, but as I'm rolling over this path, the little um, line pops up next to that arrow. And I actually can grab this and curve these a little bit. So that'll make kind of a more curved path for the bubble. So now it's going to kind of take this path upwards, and then at the last second, it's going to kind of pop and disappear. So that's my animated bubble. So that was 30 frames. So back on my main timeline, um, if I wanted to, this would have to be at least 30 frames because it's the parent timeline. So I'm just going to right click here and insert frame so that we, this is present. And now it's actually 
will animate that whole nest nested animation there. If I test the movie, that'll just repeat like that. So at this point, you could um, you can pretty much then create a whole bubble scenario using the same um, animated bubble clip. So the animated bubble one, again, if I go into it, it's the animation one where the bubble by itself, that's just the graphic. So what we can do then is we can drag this animated bubble over to the stage. You can put it in various places <coughs> on the stage. Um, we can pick our transformation tool and we can resize these. My um, transformation point actually is in kind of a weird spot on these. But we can scale these to different sizes. As many as you want and then test the movie and you're going to have all these bubbles kind of going up. <clears throat> now the only thing I don't like about this at this point is that they're all kind of moving at the same speed. I want these to kind of loop it di doing different things so that it's a little more varied. Um, let me move this one over here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first property and this is a property that's on graphic symbols only. And if you look in the properties panel, you have to kind of scroll down. It's under looping. What this does is so inside of our bubble, we have 30 frames. And what you can do is you can change the start point of when this, where this animation occurs, where it's on the stage. So let's say we wanted to start it at frame 15. So if we change the first property to 15, this bubble is going to start up here instead of at the bottom. So let's go back and see how that works. So I have that selected. Um, well, let me select it. And I'm going to change the first property to 15, and you'll see that jumps up. Um, that one I might leave as 1. And I'm just going to kind of change where this starts for all of these. Um, this one I might even make like 25. This one I'll leave at 1. This one you can make 17. Just anywhere between. 1 and 30 um, for, and we'll get a whole lot of uh, different variations here. So now you'll see when I test the movie, we kind of have something that looks more like a, like a hot tub or something, you know, the bubbles are all kind of popping up. Um, so basically you can, can use this effect and um, to create the bubbles. One other thing, we, you could take it to an even a, another level is if you, let's say we grabbed all of these and we did modify, convert to symbol, and let's say we call this a bunch of bubbles. Um, let's see. Now we have to go into this and make sure that goes out to frame 30. So now we have a clip of that whole batch of bubbles. Um, so what that lets you do is, so I have, I can scale this down, and I have this batch. I can copy and paste. I'll just paste in the center. Oops. Uh, paste in center. So now I have more of these, and so I can just copy and paste, and I can put tons of these things um, just all over the place. Lots of bubbles. And so if we test the movie, we now got a whole lot of bubbles. And we really haven't done a whole lot of work to do this. Um, and those, I think maybe the bubbles are taking or fading away a little too fast. You know, you could make this extend this out further, but um, definitely a cool effect.